Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm very happy to be doing another review from my Swap with Minnie Molly Reviews, and it is Kimberly White's K-Dance. Now, when me and, Kim me and um, Molly first started talking about doing a swap, this was one that I immediately wanted. I talked to a couple different people in the UK about getting this perfume. And it, excuse me. And the main reason I wanted this perfume may sound stupid, was seriously just for this box. I love the way, when I saw this get launched, I loved the way the box looked and instantly wanted it. I, uh, when it got launched on Fragrantica, I saw the pictures of the box and whatnot and knew I wanted it before even really looking into who, what the fragrance was, who it was by, realizing who Kimberly Wyatt was, and so on and so forth. So, very, very happy to be doing this. Also, quick side note, I'm very sorry for, um, the lack of reviews lately, there's been just so much chaotic going on lately that I haven't had time to do reviews, but I promise that more will be coming. Just give me a chance and you guys will get them. So, anyway, Kimberly White's first uh, fragrance, K-Dance. On the front of the box, you have, like it right here, it says K-Dance by Kimberly Wyatt. Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer, natu or Eau de Parfum Natural Spray Vaporizer. You've got this cool little uh, gold band that goes all the way around the perf box. And then on the back, back it says K-Dance by Kimberly White. It gives you all the ingredients, has her logo, so on and so forth. But when the box opens up, it opens up like this. And I don't actually have the bottle in there. I should set the bottle in there so you guys can see this. So when it opens up, it opens up like this. And it's almost like a seashell sort of looking thing. It's got this really, this pretty gold ribbon to hold the box open. But this is going to show a little like throwback to like my late childhood and anyone who ever remembers the show Dragon Tales. This totally reminds me of like the little box they open up and they take out the little dragon scale to uh I wish I wish I am not even gonna go into that. So but totally reminds me of that. So anyway this is the bottle. It's kind of this really cool like deep aquatic blue on the bottom that fades up to it just being a clear bottle. On the front, it's got, like, all the way around the bottle, it's got these, like, little, like, scales or rivets all the way around the bottle. And on the front, it's got this one flat little part, and it says, um, see if I can get my camera to focus on it. It says, K-Dance by Kimberly Wyatt. The lid comes off just like this. And then, reveals your sprayer. So, the notes for this one are, um, I just had them. Where'd they go? There we go. Sorry. Anyway, notes for this one are orange, mandarin, and wild berries. The heart notes are rose, lilac, and a mix of plum and cumarian. Cumarin. Base notes of vanilla, amber, and woody notes. So, when you first spray it, you get um, a really big burst. Like it quickly, you get a, like a, a just of the orange. But then it quickly goes into the wild berries and vanilla. This fragrance, in my opinion, is just kind of like a soft, aquatic uh, take on a Viva La Juicy perfume. So you really get a lot of those wild berries in the heart or in the in the very beginning. As it goes down into the heart, you get some of the rose and the lilac, which I feel like give it that kind of aquatic-y. I mean, I know those aren't aquatic scents, but it kind of gives this little bit of an aquaticness to the fragrance. And then when you get down into the base notes with the vanilla and the amber and the cedar wood, it really kind of gives off this like warm woody vanilla berry scent. The plum really kind of, the plum that's in the heart really kind of gives it a overround like juiciness to the fragrance. But it's definitely very similar to the Viva La Juicy perfumes. This is one of um I was very, very happy when I got this perfume because I was very surprised on how much I actually liked it more than just getting it for the box. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent and I love um, the way it smells. I've wore this several, several, several times um, since I've gotten them from Molly and I will tell you that this is probably my favorite scent that I got from that swap. Love this perfume. I 
constantly was getting compliments on it and it was kind of funny because like like people were like what does that smell like or what does that smell and then I would tell them what it was and told them that it's a UK only perfume and you really can't get it out of the UK and <clears throat> a lot of people were kind of like wanting to figure out a way to get it because it like I said it does have that little bit of a similarity to the Viva La Juicy perfumes but it's got this difference to it that's almost um if they were to make a Viva La Juicy aquatic or something that this is kind of what it in my opinion it would come out as but this is so it's just so nice and I've worn it so so many times so um when I wear it though I get probably about eight hours of lasting time on me I would say if this was if you were to categorize this into a season I would say it would be definitely a spring summer perfume but it could definitely be an everyday wear it's kind of that um balance of a nice perfume that could be worn any time any time of the year and by any age range to me it's just kind of like a daytime easy wear perfume it's not so mature that it's gonna be your grandma's perfume but it's not so young that it's gonna be like your 15 year old sister's perfume so um that is my review of Kimberly White's Cadence as always guys thanks so so much for watching follow me on Twitter Ada S Perfume Instagram Among the Stars Perfume links are in the description below and as always guys thanks so so much for watching bye